this uh, should take it full screen where you have those same options. And then of course you got a little settings gear up here where you can go in here and see all of these other settings. So you can change your notifications. <laughs> Right, today we're coming at you with another smart home camera this one actually does work with the google assistant and alexa special thanks to my friends over at easy viz we're nice enough to send us their h3 smart home camera this is a 2k resolution smart home security camera that'll work with alexa and google assistant so of course today we're going to show you the full setup process as well as some audio video clips directly from this camera. So we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, and then we'll set it up and show you how it works and show you it working. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out the EasyViz H3 Smart Security Camera. I need to white out my desk from these marks. All right, so we're gonna open up the EasyViz Smart Home Camera. This is the H3 model, color night vision, two-way talk, AI powered human and vehicle shape detection. Works with Google Home and Alexa. It is a 2K resolution camera. This is kind of the back of the box, AI powered human shape detection, active defense siren and strobe, enhanced 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity with dual antennas, AI powered vehicle shape detection, 2K resolution, IP67 weatherproof design, supports local micro SD card storage up to 512 gigs, half a terabyte, very nice easy viz. Color night vision, two way talk, and it supports the easy viz cloud storage. Nothing here. The side just safeguards in a powerful, smarter way. Embedded EasyViz advanced AI algorithm. The camera detects human and vehicle shapes. And uh, just the sticker here, EasyViz outdoor camera H3, three megapixel with the EasyViz logo. And uh, another sticker there. So let's open this on up and uh, see what we're working with. So which way, looks like it opens here, look at that. So looks like our camera's here, all right, got a nice little quick start guide and I will get the boring stuff out first. So this is probably a power cable, yeah, so we have a few things, a uh, drill template for mounting it. These are uh, some connectors, uh, this may be a PoE camera as well, that's what that looks like screws for mounting it and uh, that's it for that the power adapter as well for the camera and uh, just uh, paperwork yeah that's it for the box so this is it the uh, easy viz h3 take that on off very nicely designed and nice feeling camera like some this is like very strong and protected. It does have the option here for PoE, so uh, you should be able to power this camera through ethernet. That's what this is for, to like waterproof that. Or you can use the regular power outlet. This unwound. Got your two Wi-Fi antennas, camera and everything. Down here is where your reset button is and your micro SD card. Looks like maybe your speaker as well. Love this like aluminum or metal, whatever it's made out of seems very strong. And uh, that's really about it around the camera. So I think, uh, I think we will get this cleaned up. We'll get this camera plugged in, we'll get the app downloaded and we'll show you the setup process. All right, so step one on the EasyViz H3, take out these two screws to pop in a micro SD card. All right, and so there's our uh, little reset button that this presses, and there's our SD card slot. Pop in our SD card. Any uh, class 10 SD card should do. We'll just slide it right in here. Now put our cap back on. Now we're ready to plug in the power. So we're going to use the included power cable and plug it in here and then plug it into the wall. So now the camera should have power. There we go. We got a little red light right here. So now we'll go download the EasyViz app. Please use EasyViz app for device Wi-Fi configuration. Nice. So this is the EasyViz app. We will install this, create our account, log into our account, and then show you the setup process. So this is inside of the EasyViz app. And so now that we've logged in and made us an account, we have a blue flashing light here, which is a good thing. Select our plus sign and click add device. Then it asks what kind of device 
we want to add. They have lots of options, so we'll pick cameras while using the app, of course. And now it wants us to scan the QR code on the device body. I'm gonna guess this one. There's one on the bottom as well, but I'm, I'm gonna guess this one. So there we go. It, I was about to say, let's see if it finds the device, but it did find the device. So device is powered on. We'll click next. Description, yep, click start. And so now it's waiting on the light to flash blue, which it is, so we'll click next. And uh, yeah, sure, you can have it while I'm using the app. Now I just put in my Wi-Fi password. And once I put in my Wi-Fi password, my phone now wants to temporarily connect to the Wi-Fi SSID that this is giving off. So we'll click connect. It'll then take my Wi-Fi off of my Wi-Fi and connect it to this camera, where it'll then put in the Wi-Fi information that I typed so that this camera will connect to our Wi-Fi. Hopefully that makes sense. See, connecting to device AP or access point. So it'll do all this automatically once you put in your Wi-Fi SSID and password, and then it should come back to the screen ready to go. All right, so now it's asking us where we want to place it. I'm just going to select living room for now. I'm just going to call the device. H3. Wi-Fi connected. All right, well, the Wi-Fi is connected. The app was a little bit ahead of that, but hey. Platform registration successful. Configuration complete. Welcome to EasyBiz. There we go. So you can save a copy of the QR code. The audio is off by default, so we're definitely going to turn that on. Time zones, daylight savings, etc. Don't want this free trial. We'll click next and uh, an encryption password. Let's do that. So there's what the app looks like. Uh, if you were to select here, select here, select whoop, here. it brings you to the camera. So uh, it's already captured a few clips, it looks like, which you can see here. We have a snapshot button, which that will literally uh, take a photo. So I'll put this peace sign, and now we'll have a photo of that peace sign. The talk button allows you to talk, of course. We've got a definition, sleep, alarm. You can rearrange and record, of course, starts a recording. So if I click this button and then, and uh, then I can click this button to stop that recording. This is an audio video test on the EasyViz H3 camera. Recording saved album. Oh, so the rearrange button lets you rearrange those options. Okay, cool. And uh, outside of that, if you click on the screen up here, you get some of those same options. So pause, you can mute or unmute the device, microphone to talk. This uh, should take it full screen where you have those same options. And then of course you got a little settings gear up here where you can go in here and see all of these other settings. So you can change your notifications, you can change your audio settings, your image settings, however you may want those to be. Status light settings, uh, record list, security settings. So just a few uh, options here. Of course you can change the name if you want. So we're gonna go back. We have a uh, daytime video clip that I just showed you. We'll pop in a nighttime audio video clip right here. And this is a nighttime audio video test on the EasyViz security camera with the spotlights. And then lastly, let's show you what this microphone sounds like. So I'm gonna go in another room and uh, I'm gonna talk to this camera so you can hear how loud the mic is. This is a audio video test on the H3 EasyViz security camera. Definitely one of the best recording options for talking. And uh, really, that should essentially do it. And if you're wondering, it does just uh, throw your photos and videos right into your photos album. So I love that. All right, so that should do it for the H3 EasyViz smart home camera. Now, as I mentioned, you can easily link this to your Alexa or your Google Home. Just go into Alexa and add skills, select EasyViz, log into your account, same process on Google Home. Go into the Google Home app, add an account, select EasyViz, sign in, and it'll be linked with your Google Home. I can say I was very surprised with how clear the picture quality seemed to look. And also the speaker on this thing was amazing. I could hear it all the way across the house where I was trying to record it at. Very, very blown away by that. In the end, a super easy camera to set up. Great with two different options of having PoE as well as power. Would be perfect for a house that maybe already has cameras and they're trying to upgrade to something new, something a little smarter. These would be the way to go. I'll of course have this exact EasyViz H3 smart home security camera linked down below in my description if you'd like one of these for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.